Briston Copper Brow slumped onto his backside and leaned against the felled young silver dragon. A pat on its belly with his riveted gauntlet, Briston let out a deep cheer from beneath his blood-soaked beard. I, I could sure go for a stiff drink and a hot meal. Drink we have, but the food was ruined by the winged beast. The barbarian Thyra replied as she threw the ice-covered sack onto the ground. I saw some hogs back at the farm, Snap Wind uttered from within the shadows. Thanks to this beast, it might have been too cold even for hogs. The bard, Boberk Vittelgazer, finally pulling himself free from the maws of the vicious dragon, looked up at the party with a streak of brilliance in his eyes. We can wrap the hogs in bedrolls then. Hey everybody, and welcome back to Bob Appetit. I'm so excited to be doing another recipe from the D&D official cookbook, Hero's Feast, because it merges my two favorite loves, tabletop RPGs and cooking. So, today we're gonna to be doing the recipe, Hogs in Bed Rolls. Come with me on that cooking adventure. For this recipe, we're gonna need 12 ounces of fully cooked cocktail weenies or miniature sausages, one to two sheets of puff pastry, and one egg. Optionally, you're gonna want some butter for the end of this recipe, but we'll talk about that later. Also, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have two baking sheets lined with parchment paper and two wire racks to set them on at the end of this. All right, let's tuck these hogs in for the night. To start, thaw and roll out your puff pastry per the package's instructions. You're gonna to wanna to roll it out on a floured surface, either a cutting board or some parchment paper. I recommend the parchment paper because it tends to stick less than my cutting board, but do whatever you have. We're using a refrigerated puff pastry so we didn't have to thaw it out. Just follow the instructions on your package. While rolling this out, be certain not to press too hard on it, otherwise you might ruin its ability to rise up. And what we wanna do first is just cut out a two by two inch square to see if our hogs fit. Now that we've got our piece cut, lay it in your hand like a diamond and take your cocktail weenie and place it in the center. Grab the two corners and bring them up to meet at the top and press firmly. And the same reason we didn't want to press before is the reason why we want to press now. If you don't give it a nice pinch at the top, then when it bakes and the puff pastry puffs, it'll expand away from each other and you're gonna let your hog out. So make sure to press firmly to keep the hog nice and in place. Aw, look at the little hog. Isn't he cute? Not all puff pastries and not all cocktail sausages are the same. So you may find that your sausage and pastry don't fit in this shape. You may have to change it to a three by three, four by four, but you wanna make sure not to get too large. Believe me, I tried this with a whole sausage. It doesn't work great. You can feel free to experiment. Whatever you're experimenting with, it can work. You just might have to try it a few times before it does. But hey, tasty mistakes. Place these on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper no closer than one inch apart. If you're not trying to look cool for the camera and do a neat little shot, you can fit probably about 20 on an average size baking sheet, so keep that in mind. With our hogs properly nestled in their bed rolls, it's time to put on the egg wash. What we're gonna do is crack one egg into a small container and whisk it with one tablespoon of water. Then we're going to brush the top of all of our hogs with this egg wash mixture. The egg wash will help our hogs in a bed roll become shiny and golden brown. It's time to put them in a preheated oven at 400 degrees. We're gonna put one on the top rack and one on the bottom rack, and we're gonna cook them for 17 minutes. About halfway through, you want to flip not only the top and the bottom rack, but you also want to rotate them 180 degrees. Because ovens don't heat evenly, we can ensure our hogs do by moving them around like this. Do this carefully, but quickly, because the longer the oven door stays open, more heat is lost. 17 minutes are up, let's pull them out. Oh yeah. And let the sheets rest on wire racks for five minutes before serving hot. So while they're still hot, optionally you can come in with a little bit of butter and add it on to the top of them, which will add a nice rich flavor to them. I'm using my own recipe for garlic butter. If you'd like, you can check it at my recipe site, bobappetitrecipes.com, which you can find down below 
in the tome of descriptions. Description thing. And here we are, my lord. Hogs in bed rolls. That's right. You want to serve these hot and preferably with your favorite dipping sauce or condiment like ketchup or mustard. I have here my abyssal blood sauce, which has the nice kick of sriracha and a sweet honey flavor. You can find that in the link down below to my recipe site. What kind of sauces do you like to use? Share that with others below in the comments. As you can see, some of our puff pastries expanded away and our hogs were able to get out. That's just part of cooking. Even the Heroes Feast book calls out that you should experiment and play around with your food. That's how you learn a lot more in cooking. And I agree, because I tried something as well. Instead of just putting the two points together, I put three of the points together. And I ended up with a really nice swaddled hog. Looks like a cute little delicious edible baby. Aww. Remember to like and subscribe for more awesome D&D cooking content. And we'll catch you next time for our next cooking adventure.